this is Superman's chance line up to Darth Vader versus Dr. Doom. Death Battle. And starting video in 3, 2, 1, play. Hey everybody, I'm Chad. I play Boomstick. I'm Ben. I play Wiz. And we have a favor to ask. After the video, click the link in the description. Uh -huh. It's going to take you to podsurvey.com forward slash battle where you can fill okay. out a quick anonymous survey. I'm the survey that. is about making sure I that you don't already, see ads you guys. don't want to see. I already you filled out a survey for us in the past. This is a brand new updated one with a brand new opportunity to get a $100 gift card done. to Amazon. So go do that after the video, but right now, it's time to see Darth Vader take on Dr. Doom. Let's do this. This is, is, is a fucking walkie in the unit. These two masters of evil are experts at bending others to their will. But beneath the mask lies the scars yeah. of their past. Literally. Darth yep, Vader, Dark much. Lord of the Sith. And mm -hmm. Dr. Doom, sovereign ruler of Latveria. He's Wiz and I'm yeah. Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze the uh, weapons, armor, who's, and skills who's, who's to find out in. who would win a uh, death uh, battle. Uh, okay, let's see. Darth Vader. Uh -huh. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, this masked murderer was one of the most dangerous and respected killers among the stars. Nobody stood a chance. He was a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> but before he was a dark lord of the Sith, he was Anakin Skywalker, an innocent child sold to slavery on the harsh desert planet of Tatooine. Anakin was a prodigy mechanic, a prodigy pod racer, and a prodigy Jedi. So I'd say the junk dealer who bought him got a pretty sweet deal. You know, apart from the whole ownership of people thing. Yeah. Then Liam Neeson showed yeah, up and measured bad. his power level to find out that this kid was the chosen one, destined to do something great that would bring balance to the all-powerful force. Whatever the f*** that means. <laughs> Freed from slavery and trained under Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin grew into an extremely powerful Jedi, capable of lifting starships oh, yeah. and crushing buildings with just his mind. He quickly rose through the Jedi ranks yeah. to the very top, and led the legendary 501st Legion in the galaxy-wide Clone Wars. He also grew into a really arrogant and whiny douche. Hmm. It's all Obi-Wan's yeah, fault. Pretty much. He's holding pretty him back. Much. Naturally curious to an extreme, the vast potential of the Force was intoxicating to Anakin. Yeah. Unable to accept loss and pain, Anakin sought new powers to fix his problems. After a premonition of his pregnant wife's death, he decided yeah. he had no choice but to turn to the dark side of the Force for answers. Pretty much. Henceforth, you shall be known as Darth Vader. Wow. Despite being trained in the Jedi's pacifism, Anakin learned that he was really Pretty freaking much. good at killing people yeah, and murdered nearly much. the entire Jedi Order. His punishment? A tearful breakup with his old master and a leisurely dip in a pool of lava. <laughs> After yep. some pretty intense reconstructive surgery, he was rebuilt as the black cloaked Lord of Pretty the Sith, Darth Vader. Oh, that was, that was fucked up, though, man. What happened? Ah. Uh... If there was anything you hated about Anakin before, don't okay. worry, Vader is nothing like that whiny little prequel bitch. He's a badass through and through with one of the coolest voices of all time. Yep. The ability to destroy a planet James is Earl insignificant Jones. next to the power of the Force. Vader's body was sustained by his dark armor, huh. a mobile life support system designed to protect what was Ooh, left man, of him and intimidate foes. The suit it's enhanced his vision, hearing, vision. and physique. With nice his robot sparkles. limbs, he can leap dozens yep. of feet and lift several hundred pounds, all without having to use the force. The armor oh, is even damn. dense enough to deflect lightsaber blows. Unfortunately for Vader, his new body had several problems. The armor yeah, was cumbersome and weighed him down. Much of it was mismatched, snagging and pulling on his body. His incessant raspy breathing often kept him awake. His synthetic skin itched constantly, and Bam. the control panel on his chest would sometimes beep for no reason at all. You're saying in this technological marvel of an wow. age, we can't fix one person who's fallen into lava? I find your lack of faith disturbing. <laughs> It's very oh, likely damn. Vader's Sith Master, knowing his new student could become more powerful than himself, included these faults on purpose. While it caused problems for Vader at first, he quickly grew accustomed to his suit's yep. limitations and modified his fighting style to complement his new stance and strength. And while his life support systems are vulnerable to electric overload, should the worst happen, uh -huh. he can use the force damn. to sustain himself for several hours. 
Vader wields a dual-phase uh, lightsaber. Sure. Unlike normal lightsabers, which are already cool as shit, Vader can manually adjust his to double its length. But if it lasts for more than four hours, he needs to consult a doctor. <laughs> With his God unmatched connection to the Force and for training sure. in both Jedi uh, and Sith arts, he's learned minute. a variety of techniques. Uh, he can deflect energy sure. blasts with nothing but his hands, anticipate his opponent's next moves, powers. and increase his speed and strength. And though his mechanical limbs cannot channel Force lightning like his master, he can condense and launch a ball of electricity called Good. Kinetite. And he can always use telekinesis to lift people up and choke the ever-living hell out of them. A power that would come in Shit. handy if you ever had to deal with an annoying co-host. Ah, uh, don't really? know the power of the dark side. Using the dark yeah. side of the Force, Vader Pretty embraces his that. passion and rage in battle, complementing his extremely offensive fighting style. The angrier he gets, the deadlier oh, he yeah. becomes. He's yeah. defeated tons of Jedi Masters, including huh. Obi-Wan himself. He matched his secret apprentice, Galen Merrick, in Force Combat, who is powerful wow, enough to move Star Destroyers, it. and it kill the doppelganger of Darth uh -huh. Maul by impaling himself. Damn, that's dedication. And Shit. finally, after oh. discovering his long-lost wow. son, Vader had a change of heart. He rescued his son by sacrificing himself to destroy Damn. the Sith once and for all. Nice. Or at least until the next movie comes out. Darth Vader is impressive. Pretty much. Most impressive. Uh -huh. no escape. Don't make me destroy you. Damn. Got that came Doctor Doom. I will not ask you. Science that. sorcery don't, don't and his own that much. Much. Doom is undoubtedly one of the most dangerous villains in the Marvel multiverse. I mean, just look at him. He looks like death yeah, itself. Pretty much. But before he was Lord of Latveria, Victor Von Doom was a gypsy. His father huh. was a highly intelligent doctor who okay. died of frostbite, and his mother just so happened to be a satanic witch Damn. who accidentally sold her soul to the devil. Poor orphan Victor <laughs> was determined to master both science and magic to honor his parents. And Damn. he did. By secretly combining technology and sorcery, Victor made a name for himself with a number Damn. of miraculous inventions, including a robotic duplicate of himself dubbed a Doombot. And <laughs> get used to seeing those things. I mean, like yep, every time much. Doom has been killed, it turns out it was just a Doom bot. This isn't Doom pretty at all. Much. It's some kind of Doom bot. No wonder he didn't use the ring. It's a complete fake. He eventually developed a machine yes. designed to take him to and from hell itself to rescue his mother. But it blew up in his face. No, like yeah. really, it blew up in his face. After the accident, yeah. despite his only injury being a single scar, Victor was horrified that his always perfect face had been tainted. Yeah. Victor ran away really, to the Victor? Himalayan mountains really? and ended up joining a group of Tibetan monks. He soon put okay. them to work building him an awesome suit of armor to enhance his power Why and hide not? his face. He was Why so not, eager right? to get the damn thing on that he put on the metal mask before it cooled down, messing up his face even more. This armor magically severed wow. his physical connection to the world shielding him from the nightmares and transforming him into a cold engine of logic. Wow. Thus, he took the name Dr. Doom. Victor, Damn. please. Call me Doom. With his new armor, Damn. Dr. Doom soon conquered his home country, Latveria, claiming the throne for himself. Is he really a doctor? Yes. Well, he was expelled from college, but he just gave himself a Latverian doctorate once he was running the country. So, technically, ha, ha, yes. Ha. What a cop out! Those of us with degrees had to work hard for our doctorates. Really? You do not have a doctorate. Yeah, uh -huh, check it out. Got it in poultry science, really? specializing in the frying. Well, holy shit. Anyway, Doom's <laughs> armor is mostly made of titanium, but there's way you more to it. Power? With it, he's strong enough to lift buildings, survive blows from Thanos' infinity gauntlet, uh. and one-shot the Incredible Hulk. Plus, it has a force field, jet boosters, and energy blasters. Uh. And also Damn, a molecular awesome. expander, which can enlarge small objects he keeps with him. Handy for turning tiny oh. pebbles into giant boulders. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I should look into this science thing. The armor also huh. has numerous uh, methods of damn. energy absorption and manipulation, giving him complete control over all sorts of machinery. Shit. It might just be the most overpowered suit in comic history. I mean, yeah. it even has pieces of the true cross to protect against Dracula and other undead enemies. 
It not only increases his physical strength, but also his magical oh, abilities, which includes teleportation, mind transference, demonic summons, mystical You're blasts, and numerous other spells he's learned over the centuries. Yes, I said centuries. Doom time traveled to the earliest days what? of magic and learned all he could before returning to the present the normal way. By waiting. Ah, oh, yes, I think I'll be Stop. immortal today. But as awesome as his armor is, Doom God still a badass without it. One time, Doom found what himself hell? stranded on another Earth, buck naked oh. after being switched with his arch nemesis, Reed Richards, by a celestial. I have a long story. Anyway, he gets attacked by a lion, which he straight up killed with a single punch. The then fuck? turned it into a pretty sweet suit. Under oh Doom's God. rule, his country let Varia prosper. Its people loved their new dictator, though the rest of the world was of a different opinion. Yeah. Probably because he keeps trying to conquer it all. Well, yeah. whether Doom is a bad guy is a bit up for debate. Sure, there was that one time he sacrificed the woman he loved to hell and had her skin turned into leather armor he wore. What but for a long fuck? time, Doom's top priority was actually rescuing his mother from damnation. And he eventually pulled it off. With that off the list, Doom did what any magically powered titan of yeah, science what he, would do. What he, do? he went time hopping to the future. Doom explored thousands of possible future timelines, and what he saw convinced wow. him he needed to take over the world. See, Doom truly believes he must conquer the world, as that is the only possible future freed from suffering and want. And he's uh, kinda uh. right. I mean, even the panther god of Wakanda backed him up, and that guy looked into, like, all the futures. However, despite his uh. overwhelming power, intellect, and intentions, Doom is extremely arrogant to a fault. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I much. can't even count how many times Doom had world domination within his grasp and then dropped the ball. I mean, one time he stole the godly power cosmic from Silver Server and still lost because Mr. Fantastic tricked him into flying into a power cosmic sucking force field. But if Dr. Doom could just keep wow. his ego in check, nobody could ever stand in his way. Man. Your plan to destroy them has failed, Master. Failed. Dr. Doom does not fail. 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 All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate. Sure, once and for time, but I mean, there's a big battle last week. I mean, last time, so you know. It makes sense it's shorter. Are we on the Death Star? Lord Vader, oh. we ambushed the rebels orbiting Pelusia, but yes. Skywalker escaped. Just again. Just uh, I apologize. I shouldn't have been so hasty to begin. An unwise decision. Yeah. It's not a <laughs> wow. This boss is over. Damn. How does this run? Blah 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 blah. Get on with the stuff. This is the one. I'm not sure who I'm rooting for, but whoever wins, it's the top.
Oh, oh he's rhyming fast. Oh. Shit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, fight with Rockingo. Here we go. Here we go. He's fighting on top of Rockingo. Or Game One. Certainly capable of obliterating a basic Doom bot. Ah. However, Dr. Doom himself is in a league of his own. Vader may be the chosen one, but Doom's experience mastering magic and science trumped the Sith Lord. Ah. Plus, while Vader has proven his strategic prowess over two decades of experience okay. leading an army, Doom yeah. has successfully led a country and then a whole planet. And of course, Dr. Doom's armor yeah. is absurd. Its magical barriers and separation from the physical world have protected him from reality warping and telekinetic attacks yeah. from the likes of Thanos okay. and the Silver Surfer, whose power makes Vader's lightsaber and force choke look like child's play. Wow. Even if Vader could get through that suit, Doom's mind is armored by his sheer willpower, preventing any of Vader's force power, mental reading, or yeah. manipulation. Unfortunately, Vader was forced to meet his doom. The winner mistake. is Doctor Doom. Who's next? Are they guys only? Are they only show run run the players again? Cause what sucks? Oh, boy. Uh huh. Who is it? Hmm. Oh my! Up, oh, up! Well, it's fucking some never Goku again. Damn. Ready oh, for a oh, rematch? Shit. Oh my god, wait, so is it? After hundreds wow. of thousands of requests, wow. we are doing this. We are bringing wow. in Super yes, Saiyan that's God Goku awesome. the century. Yep, it's all going down live at SGC, our convention that we put on in Frisco, wow. Texas, July 17th through wow. 19th. So, make sure you head to sgconvention.com, awesome. pick up a badge if you want to be there when we yes. premiere this thing live. We got some stuff special planned. If you can't make it, yes. then make sure you tune into the live stream because yes, we will be streaming it. Oh shit! And then Goku vs Superman will finally be over. Will it though? No. Will it? Yes. No. We'll see. No, it won't be. Hey, make sure you guys dude, follow dude, uh, us no. on Screw Attack on Twitter. Huh. We'll see you guys at SGC. Ah, uh, that's gonna be awesome, man. Bye, guys. Oh, okay, that was, that was kind of awkward. <laughs> Damn, that was good, man. Oh, yes. Nice. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. And for my outro, from my favorite anime reviewer, Jezero Paku, sayonara, bye bye.